So, Yo actually lost. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always good when they have a shonen protagonist losing once in a while. So they're not always on a constant winning streak. But of course, it's good when you're on a winning streak. So when they do lose, it's more impactful. However, the fight gets started and you only have um, two chances, really. If you lose twice, that's it, you're out. I can see why him losing once in this kind of thing makes sense, you know. It's not like it's not like Pokemon where you go at it again and again. Like when Ash lost first, you know, he went against Brock and he went a second time and only won by luck. And then you will also lose other um challenges as well, but you always come back and you fight again. So However, for a Shaman King, it feels more of a life and death situation, so therefore it's more impactful and understandable. And also understanding the values of life, you know, the meaning of life, you know. You have your life, you live it, you go through the experiences, you know, you live the happy times, the sad times, the bad times, all those times. So when you do go, it has its meaning. Coming back after dying. It loses meaning, kind of like Dragon Ball, in a way, from, for me, you know? They just kept relying on the dragon. Every time someone died, dragon comes back, bring them back, bring them back, every time. So it, it doesn't matter if they died, the dragon balls were there. And of course, if Piccolo died, they just go into Nemec. And then with Super, some people can just use, like, what, one Dragon Ball to grant a wish and stuff. So that really just cuts up the, you know, the, the danger in a situation where you're just really in it just for the entertainment instead of the story itself, which is sad. Now, I may be wandering off here, but my point is, is that we have this character, Faust, in a way, where Faust, in a way, was using, I don't know if it was his main strategy for Yo to use up his Furuku before the matching started, or he was doing it out of his own curiosity. Either way, is what caused him to win. Yes, Yo was more skilled at fighting, but Faust really drained him out. Because Faust wasn't really using his oversoul only on his wife, Elijah. You know, we have always have those crazy scientists who become mad because they lost a loved one. You know, tragic bad story, you know. He's always studying, and he met this wonderful lady who was sick. And then, after years, she finally got over it. And then they get married, and then she gets shot in the head by robbers. And then now... That's all he had, you know. So he didn't want anything else, you know. He can't move on. He's stuck in his past. Shamans help people find to come to at ease with their past, you know. Some, you know, some closure, you know. That that's what shamans are to do. You know, they get possessed by spirits which are from the past. They died, and then they help out people from the present, so they move on to the future. You know, that's what shamans are supposed to do. And they can do other things like exorcisms and stuff like that. All other kind of jobs. It determines on which region you're from. Now, I did notice when I read the manga, they did um, cut a part where um, Manta had his entire, um, you know, his torso exposed when Faust cut it. They didn't show that there. So I'm guessing um, this version of Shaman King... Just like the old one, it's not going to be that graphic. I've read the manga and stuff, and people die. A lot of people die in Shaman King. Some do come back to life. They do do that back-to-life thing, but they don't overuse it like they do in um, Dragon Ball Z. They don't overuse it, but yeah, people do die. They do come back to life, but they can only do it only amount of times. And that they can do it, may spoil, <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, with that being said, um, they, they really did tone down the graphic imagery that they showed. We even got a chance to see, um, well, what Anna talking about how, you know, was good as a demon child, you know, he was exiled, no one wanted to be around him, he was cursed, um, the children, poor children, will definitely show you some true segregation by 
excluding you from everything and making you be by yourself and feel terrible. Extremely insecure. And that probably is how Yo felt. So I guess Mata's one of his theories is that Yo has become a shaman so he can end loneliness. Which is impossible, I guess. Because some, the world is a bad place. In order to do that, you got to influence everyone to be a good person, and that is, in a way, breaking away free will. So, the only way for true peace is everyone acts like a hive mind. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. But, I don't think that's what entirely what Yo wants to happen. We don't know exactly what Yo truly wants when he becomes Shaman King. Not just the easygoing life. I bet he's not that specific in towards of what he wants, or what he really wants himself. He's just saying things to keep him going. Many becoming Shum King, many for Anna's sake more than anybody's, is what I believe. But anyways, he lost, but despite that fact, Faust was still about to finish him off and wasn't for freaking Ren coming in and saving him. And then Ren never taught me on milk. I drink three glasses a day of milk. <laughs> Like, really, imagine you coming in, and you're saving someone's life, and your epic first statement is about these skeletons having weak bones for not drinking enough milk, and how you drink three glasses a day. That's not cool. <laughs> but whatever, that's, that's Ren's thing. I guess he's very insecure about his heights. He's one of those characters who's very short-tempered. He hates when you mention his height. I don't think I've ever seen Vegeta get mad about his height, but I know Edward Elric does a lot. <laughs> so, anyways, um, you know, lost one round. He, if he loses one more, he's out. Or if he wins one more, he gets to go on to the next stage. So, he has to be very careful, and since his opponent is gotten stronger, he's going to do some serious training. I think that's a, that's the sign that this video should be done. <laughs> so, anyways, I guess that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Got any insight about the values of life for the power of necromancy, which I've never really been a big fan of, by the way. I never really cared much about pe people using the powers of the dead and stuff. Using bones as a weapon was pretty cool, but using the dead itself, I never really cared for. Unless it's just one ghoul being a badass. That's cool too. Anyways, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This is the background on Metamate. Signing out.